Francis Bacon captured the rawness of the human condition and used a striking palette to indulge his fascination with the body. His paintings often represented doomed lovers or dwelled on death. A new exhibition at Paris's Pompidou Centre shows how the British 20th century artist's exploration of existence intensified in his later years. His goal in his, in his work is to express life. But when you express life, when you're fascinated by life, you have to deal with death because life and death are mixed together. Bacon had a reputation for being witty and a gambler, a bon viveur who drew inspiration from post-war London's nightlife. By contrast, his canvases simmer with profound and at times violent contemplation. I would never be able to compete with the, um, with the things that's happening every day in the world. So I, I can't imagine why people should think my work disturbing. The exhibition also focuses on Bacon's love of literature. We established a relation between his literature interest and his painting, because we know that Bacon was a heavy reader. And more and more, doing in time, uh, he talked about literature. Francis Bacon is considered one of 20th century Western art's most important and influential figurative painters, and is more remarkable because he was never formally trained. It was actually here in Paris that, as a young man, he decided to become an artist. On Bacon's first trip to Paris in the 1920s, a Picasso exhibition inspired him to become an artist. He returned to the city often and befriended famous French writers, including Michel Leris. The link with the, with the French uh, intellectuals is very important in that way. And when he moves to Paris, when he gets this um, studio in Rue de Birag in 74, he starts to meet more often uh, Leris, which is presenting him to other poets like Jacques Dupin and so on. The 60 paintings on display span the last two decades of Bacon's life and include his last known work. It was finished a few months before the 82-year-old artist died in Madrid in 1992. The shadowy figure of a fading bull is full of mystery and foreboding, a sign perhaps that Bacon knew his own existence was nearing its end. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.